Redditors. What started off as a small lie but then snowballed into this is my life now? When I first got married back in 2005. My wife asked me if I like creamy peanut butter. I knew she did. So I told her yeah that's great. Full stop. She buys creamy peanut butter. I buy creamy peanut butter. About 3 years ago. She's doing some experiment or something with our daughter and she needed chunky peanut butter. I saw it in the pantry and exclaim oh chunky peanut butter. I love this stuff. To which she responds. You do? I've been buying creamy peanut butter all these years because you told me that was your favorite. So long story a little shorter. We both prefer chunky peanut butter by a large margin. But have been buying creamy for 10 years because we both thought it was what the other preferred. Reading that back. We're pretty boring people. Yep. I moved to a new city. And got a new dentist. For some reason. The guy thinks I used to see him at his old practice in a town I've never lived in. I corrected him a couple times. But he just keeps bringing it up. So now I just kind of roll with it. He asks after my parents. Which is easy enough. But we've had all kinds of conversations about local restaurants I've never been to and other random stuff like that. I'm sure this is all happening with him elbow deep in your mouth. 2. Remember that old coffee house on Main Street? Uragil. Ha ha. Yeah. Wasn't a drinker in high school so to shut down peer pressure I told them I was born with half a liver and drinking anything could make me very sick or kill me. The lie just became natural and followed me to college. Was out with some friends playing pool and decided to have a beer. When I came back. A buddy slapped it out of my hand thinking I was suicidal. Then the explanations began. A new co-worker of mine tried downplaying his day and eventually after me hounding him about why he didn't like celebrating. He eventually told me in confidence that his best friend was killed on his birthday and he hates thinking about it. Fast forward 8 years, this guy and I had become really good friends. Best friends. Lived together at one point. He was accepted into my friend group and I always made sure to downplay his day, his is 4 days after another friend. So we just did a group thing and never made a big deal about it. Finally someone got brave enough and wanted to talk to him about it. And he laughed and had no recollection of telling me that and said he was probably just screwing with me. He always wondered why no one wished him happy day. I told people at my former, American, university that I was Canadian. Get them to stop talking to me about you. S. Politics. I hate confrontation and didn't know how to just tell them that political discussion makes me uncomfortable. Now I live in Canada and attend a Canadian university. I'm working towards citizenship. Oops. So I'm a visiting nurse and started seeing a patient 3 days week for wound care. He was a paraplegic and didn't get out much or have many visitors. He offered me a cup of coffee one morning. But I didn't know him very well yet and was uneasy about drinking something out of unknown person's kitchen. Plus. We are really not supposed to. But I could tell he just needed a little company. I told him I drink it black to keep it simple. Never planning to have another cup. Next day. I come in and notice a little sticky note on his counter that said remember to make fresh pot of coffee for Rachel. It was so touching to me that I went early every single appointment from that day forward to have a cup of black coffee. I hate black coffee but I felt it was too late to tell him I liked creamer after all. I drank black coffee with him for 3. 5 years and he became a good friend until he passed away. You're here for the copywriting position right? Yup. I was the only one in the waiting area. Thought I was there for a design arts direction role. Within 15 minutes of the interview they offered me 2k dollars to move and 45k dollars starting salary a week before graduation. I was having a rough time commuting too far for work for a few months. Decided to quit to find something closer to home. But told everyone I had been approved to work from home. When I went to give my 2 weeks. My manager asked. I know the driving has been killing you. How would you feel about working from home? Work laptop to my left and watching great British masterclasses I type. 
been working at home since then. Not me but my dad. We moved and he was convinced the postman's name was Jer as in short for Jerry. He greeted him by it. Nearly every day for about 10 years. We even gave him a Christmas card which he displayed down in the sorting office. Fast forward and we have a temporary postman. My mum asking him after a few weeks when is Jer coming back? This was met with stunned silence and a puzzled look. With a resounding who is Jer? No one works in the locality by that name. Turns out. His name is Declan and he was too nice to correct my dad for close to a decade. My uncle's name is Ernie and he owns a restaurant. And likes to talk to guests when they arrive and leave. One of the patrons that eats there a lot. Confused his name with Bert. A la Bert and Ernie. Being the pleasant and polite Asian dude he is. He did. T have the heart to correct him. Now whenever this one customer comes. The staff and and my aunt, the manager, has to call him Bert. He is my uncle Bert now. I became friends with one of the managers at Panera. One day as I was giving a cashier my order. He told her to give me the same discount as they give to firemen. Police and paramedics. I think. He just chose this discount as it was an easy button to push on the register. Well this cashier really thought I was a fireman. I'm not. So for the next two years this cashier gave me the discount. Even if she wasn't serving me. She would go out of her way to tell the cashier that was helping me. He's a fireman. Give him the discount. It snowballed into such an awkward situation that I didn't know how to get out of it. Luckily that cashier eventually transferred to another store and I now happily pay full price. One day you're going to be just walking down the street. And there's going to be an apartment fire. And this girl is going to run up to you oh thank god you're here. Please save my baby. One teacher at school said my name wrong and I was too anxious to correct him. Long story short it's almost been a year and I'm in too deep to say anything else. When you have a foreign name because you're a child of immigrants you learn to answer to pretty much anything that resembles your name. I just avoid telling anyone my name at all or lie and say it's something like Catherine or Bridget. I've been making EDM since I was 13. And in my senior year of high school I had the opportunity to play some of my music live with Ableton for my classmates at an event. But. Because I couldn't explain what I was doing in the space provided on the sign up sheet I just put down DJ. Thinking that nobody would be knowledgeable enough to know the difference. Apparently everybody liked it so much that the prom committee asked me to DJ prom. And like an idiot I said yes. I waited for my birthday. And made sure that nobody got me any gifts just money. Which I spent on software and a mix track pro. I learned how to DJ in 3 months. Did prom. Got paid $250. I'm making decent money off of gigs now. And I do the prom every year. I didn't want to go to dinner with the gang from work. Including my boss. So I told them I was having dinner with my wife and her parents. I lied. I get home. Wife wants to go out to dinner. So. We head to the restaurant. And just as we're getting near the door. I see the work gang with my loudmouth boss all piling out of their cars. What are odds of us picking the same restaurant? Shti. Busted. There was an old couple walking into the restaurant in front of us. I held the door for them. And insisted they join us for dinner. They were quite perplexed. But accepted my offer of a free dinner. It was the most uncomfortable dinner ever. They had no clue who we were. None of us had any shared interests. They rushed through dinner. Thanked us. And got the hell away from what I'm sure they thought were a couple of weirdos. I know this wouldn't have come to you in the heat of the moment. Back in high school. Someone in my freshman English class thought he heard someone call me Louis. So he started calling me Louis. Not really a friend. Just someone I spoke to on occasion. Now high school me thought he was just him trying to be funny. And didn't care to correct him and he continued to call me Louis and whenever I heard him call for me I responded. It wasn't until our last week of senior year that he stops me in his tracks and goes. Someone told me your name isn't Louis. Is your name Louis? No. 
I I've been calling you Louie for 4 years. I thought that was your name. Edit. I drop words all the time. When I was little. My grandma would make me these horrible frozen chicken tenders filled with cheese. They were just god awful. Because I am a good grandson. I told her that I love them. From then on. Every time that I visited her. She would cook me those abominations. Even when I was in graduate school. I would go visit her and for one meal. I would have to slide those gross things down my gullet. Every time I would say. Thanks. I love them. The things we do for love. I did online homeschooling for a few years and there was a forum where you could socialize with other students enrolled in the school. During this time I was big into making music on a door I had downloaded. I didn't know how to play any instruments. But I could still download different drum beats and guitar riffs from the devs website. I shared a few songs with my fellow classmen and told everyone that I could play guitar and had a friend that tracked the drums. Eventually people started asking me for guitar lessons or more songs. I couldn't keep up the lie so I told them that my friend moved to Africa for a missions trip and would not return for the foreseeable future. But everyone in that forum thought I could play guitar. I couldn't. And still can't play to save my life. Ah. The classic move to Africa excuse. I've used that one many a time. I told my parents I bought a duck when I was 20 to tease them. I found a picture online of one and sent it to them. Sadly. They believed me. They got overly excited about their grand duck and told my whole family. I ended up buying a duck. My mother was a super control freak. So one of the ways I would avoid home was after school extracurriculars. I got the date wrong on a math team meeting. So I lied to my mom about it while actually attending the debate team intro meeting. I probably didn't need to lie. But it was always safer to not disrupt her precious schedule. Eventually. Debate became a regular activity for me to avoid home. In 3 years. I was a state semi-finalist and in college. I coached the high school national champions and turned that into a free ride for a master's degree. My first relationship. A few days in. When girlfriend tells me she isn't ready to go public just yet and if we could just pretend we weren't together for a few days then she would be ready. Six months later. I had lied to so many people for her I can't tell what's real anymore and any time I asked her if we could stop because it was messing with me she refused and argued her way out of it. Looking back on this ducks with my head to this day. Amazing how much things like that can snowball. Edit. Should clarify this happened a while ago. Didn't mean to confuse people. You was a side bitch. My husband's best friend has a 6 year old daughter that I see often. When she was almost 3 she babbled something to me. I think it was my friends here. Comma and my husband interpreted it as my friend Steve. And started calling me Steve in front of her. Now her whole family call me Steve when she's around. And she still believes that's my name. For clarity. I'm a female and my name isn't anything close to Steve. Edit. Seems like there are a lot of non-Steve Steves out there. I may need to create a new sub for us all. R inexplicably Steve R suddenly Steve edit. You Salon Sinks has done it. Smart. Knowing your true name gives sorcerers power over you. If she ever starts practicing magic. You should enjoy some protection others don't. One time someone who I wanted to be better friends with showed me a Metal Gear Solid meme and me being me I pretended to understand it. I then was forced to research all the games and their plots. Easter eggs. Quotable characters. And other memes to better fake understanding. I still have never played a Metal Gear Solid game. I was looking for a job and I didn't want to be a fast food manager anymore so I fluffed out my resume with computer skills I didn't have. I was contacted by a recruiter who asked me some questions to gauge my abilities and I straight googled the answers as he was asking them. When I went to the interview. The boss had all of these circuit boards sitting all over his desk. I recognized them as Raspberry Pis from Reddit. So I asked what he was using them for. The rest of the interview was just this guy bragging about all of these projects he had going on. He might as well have been speaking Greek. 
I just feigned interest and said wow a lot. I'm hired. Who knows how this shti happened but I have literally googled every problem I have been given. Day 543. They still think I know what I'm doing. I'm making one. Five times what I was making as a manager. I have a ged for Christ's sakes. Edit. Thank you for my first gold kind stranger. When I was 14 years old I played with a group of other kids on stage during the 2008 Hawaii International Ukulele Festival. Jack Johnson was performing and we were behind him strumming along. Hundreds of us. This story has turned so thoroughly into I played on stage side by side with him just the two of us that I can't correct people anymore and just shamefully accept the us and ahs when it gets retold. You played with Jack Johnson on stage? Awesome. A dude I knew was giving this girl some shti and she kicked him in the nuts. Okay. Extreme reaction. But such is life. He doubled over in pain. But since he was kind of a douche anyway. No one cared much. The next day, a Friday, his dad took him out of school for some reason. Then when he returned on Monday he learned that the big rumor was that his balls ruptured from the kick. And he had to get emergency surgery. Rather than correcting anyone. He went along with it. This went on for years. People made fun of him. And he just joked about it. There were idiotic songs people sung about him. He laughed about it. Never denied it once. In fact participated in some of the joking at times. Finally. One day about 3 years later he comes clean. She didn't even actually kick him in the balls. Just in the gut and it really knocked the wind out of him. After all this time. The dude who got kicked in the balls was basically his identity. Strange turn of events. Before finishing college I got a low level job in low level section of a very large company. My first boss liked me a lot. Assumed I had finished college and recommended me for another job which I got. I did not mention college on my resume and the hiring manager assumed a college degree. Given the referral. That repeated three times and now I am within the ranks of solid college grads from solid schools. I never finished and they all assume I have. I convinced pretty much everyone in my life that I was allergic to coconut at a young age. I simply just didn't like it at all and it was a good way to avoid eating it, logic of a preteen mind. My mom played along. It wasn't until about 3 years ago when my mother-in-law had a surprise birthday party for her husband and she made a German chocolate cake. The kicker here. She did half of it coconut and half without so I could enjoy the cake and not have an allergic reaction to it. I broke down. Laughed. Told them it wasn't true and I actually am not allergic. Her face melted. I hadn't realized how long I had kept up the lie until that very moment. TL. DR. Convinced everyone I was allergic to coconut then had to confess at a surprise birthday party when half the cake was non-coconut so I didn't die. Okay your mother-in-law sounds super sweet though. Half of someone else's birthday cake done differently just for you. Adorable. Was anyone upset at you about this? Or did they laugh with you? Once my boyfriend's mom asked me if I liked their bathroom soap. It's lavender. I don't like lavender. But I decided to tell her I love it. It smells so good. Now I have an endless supply. She buys me some all the time. It's too sweet to tell her the truth. So I just keep it to myself and use the mediocre smelling soap. Well. This is how I'll live now. Edit. I will ask for different soap. I've been given plenty of encouragement. Thank you. Close bracket. Edit 2. I will really send you lavender stuff I have if you pay for shipping. PM me. You know that beautiful soap you always get me? Recently it's been giving me little hives on my hands I'm not sure I should use it anymore. Such a shame it's so pretty. But I also like vanilla so maybe the same company sells a different scent? I'm from a small town and was super worried anxious about how college would go. After move in day. Everyone on our floor had to go around saying our major what we wanted to do occupation wise. I was forced to go. The first three people say. Doctor. Lawyer. Surgeon. 
I'm convinced at this point that everyone in college was way smarter than me and had their shti together. You're on Reddit. You get it. Anyway. I blank. Blurt out economics as my major. Then say professor because it was the best thing I thought you could do w that. So now I'm in my second year of PhD program because I just never found a good reason to change from my RA meeting as a freshman. Edit. Yes. I found out later that like 80% of the incoming bio majors were pre-med because it's all talk. If you are 18. Don't make the mistake I did. You should be worried about doing well in college. But the freshmen who look like they are way ahead of you are either. A. Lying because they're scared to be. Airheads who don't think picking majors are worth worrying about. Living in a college town. Every year around spring graduation there's one or two I'm here to see my kid graduate. But I haven't been able to locate them families. Usually kids that stopped going. Pocketed their parents money. And or just gave up and couldn't handle telling the family. It ends sadly sometimes. That's a big lie deception to deal with and maintain. It almost always comes to a head. I never swear ever. Actually. I never swear out loud around other people because it's basically one of my character traits to my friends and such at this point. I don't want to deal with everyone freaking out about it if I did swear around them. Congratulations. You now have the ability to pack a very hard punch with a single word. An electrician came and priced up a job at our rental property. He greeted me with hi in. I've come to price some work up I replied yep. That's me. My name is not Ian. It's not even close to Ian. I was too British to correct him with his error. So I just went along with it. It's not the worst lie I've ever come out with. In my head I'm thinking. At worst the guy is just going to call me Ian again when he leaves. He was in my flat for a good 20 minutes. Calling me Ian during conversations we had. Not once did I correct him. Just stayed in character as Ian. Weeks went by and he eventually came back to do the work at the flat. My MRS and me had the day off. I had forgotten about the whole Ian thing until that day. So I explained to her that if she talked to me that day to call me Ian. It's just easier. Somebody thought I was Jewish and I didn't want to correct them because I hate confrontation. So now everyone in the school thinks I'm Jewish and my homeroom got me a Passover card signed by everyone my brain told me it was time to stop but I didn't want to ruin the thought of the gesture. Your senior yearbook quote should be I'm not really Jewish. When I was 12 years old. I lied about my age and made myself older for about 3 years. So I could still be somewhat cool in WoW. Now some of my WoW friends settled over with me to other games. And whenever I meet someone new, they're likely connected to them. At this point it's too awkward to explain that I'm not the oldest. But in fact the youngest in our fringe are up. Reminds me of the story of the kid who applied to college a year earlier than normal to keep up the lie about his age to his WoW guild. Age minimum to join, and he got accepted to the college.